Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Half Fast 719. Anyway, uh, yeah. Last night, yesterday morning was an early, late morning, late night. I worked about nine hours of overtime. Um, just a quick little update in this beginning of this video before I forget. This little bandsaw had its work cut out. That little thing was ripping. Uh, cutting brackets. This is a quarter inch, all quarter inch steel. As you can see, uh, these are all cut. All this has been cut with the bandsaw. Plus, I got more over here. You can see it's been used. <sighs> nice. Just blew it everywhere. Anyway, uh, yeah, a little bandsaw, definitely a must if you can get it on sale. I wouldn't pay full 140 bucks for it, but um, it does work. And the way I have it mounted it does work. It works really well. Um, although the blade I have, the couple teeth we saw from a couple videos ago or whatever, whenever this is going to be uploaded, uh, in a couple Sundays or next Sunday. Um, but yeah. Uh, we'll saw bandsaw works out pretty good. So it can only cut so much. And then this is the cut from the plasma. That my awesome kid bought me. So this is all slag. You just knock all that slag off. Um, I was just using the level. And running it straight down and through. So that worked out really good. So anyway. On to the cheese. Or the meat. Of this video. Um, I didn't film any of this. Because it was really windy. And uh, I had to get it done. Because it looked like a storm was brewing in. Um, so I had to work, work, work. I couldn't really film it. And it was a lot of tedious work. Um on this but anyway uh still have uh, some more welding to do some more cleaning up to do but anyway let me show you what i got so i think you guys saw this is all fully welded now um i will i'm gonna run over it with a tig to clean it up um and it's of course it's gonna get windy again I did box the frame. The frame is boxed with a little C notch or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's boxed same on the inside. Um, I ended up having to do the pan hard bar. I had to attach it to this, uh, the airbag bracket. Um, this isn't welded yet. I'm going to run the TIG weld over this clean it up and run it because I wanted this to be as tight as I could get it so what I'll do with the TIG is I'll melt through the frame metal into the eighth in or quarter inch steel that's back here um, but yeah so um, ended up having to cut these tabs off so this right here went to about here and then had the little L bracket so that you can bolt it to this. I wouldn't have been able to use it because it would have sat way out here. And with this design, couldn't use it. All these are welded now. Fully welded. Um, airbags are installed. Same thing over here. It's welded, boxed. We have this steel there. I'm going to run over the TIG there. I'll run the TIG here. If you look, I had to bend, I had to bend the steel for the shape of the frame because it goes like this, and then it kicks over. So I bent all that. That was no big deal. I just stuck it in a vise and hit it with a hammer. Um, I do have the airbag rubbing right here on this bracket. Um, so what I'll do is I'm gonna take my grinder or cutoff wheel, and I'll make just a little tiny. C-notch in here to clear this bag. Uh, the gas tank 
right there hits the airbag when I'm up and uh, yeah everything operates smoothly um, everything works good I had this all ground off and cut right in there but I'll have to cut and grind all this off so I still want to run um, some type of brace for the back of this I probably really don't need to um, but I might and I might also do a rosette welds in here with these holes maybe one two two three but I got good penetration you can see the heat's all the way through the heat went all the way through it's a lot of a lot of grinding a lot of welding a lot of it was a mess yeah that's all I could say it was a big big mess but everything is good it cycles um yeah let me get the jack let me get the jack for you guys um, I did take the bump stops off the front. So as you can see, it's, it's a little lower now. Um, I want it to go even lower. I want to go about another inch and a half, maybe two inches. So, oh, I have, I have no, I don't have any grip strength because uh, grinding and all that mess. So I did let the grinder get out of control. It went out of control and I don't know, took off and you can see it's part of the cutoff wheel there. So let's see this beast from the east. Let's see if I can't put you somewhere. Maybe that'll work. wife's car's hood mm, maybe not uh, I don't know where to put you guys right there will work Let's see it Maybe that'll be for my reference too but that's about where it gets to before the axle starts to shift this way because if I keep going uh, maybe not oh there we go uh, but uh, it doesn't look like it's shifting But anyway, it all cycles. It all runs through. So I think this weekend, what I'll do is I'm gonna clean up all these welds, finish the weldings. I still want to weld a plate in here on the bottom. In here, weld this bottom and then weld those. Um, and then I gotta do the little notchings and stuff, so. So, anyway, guys, sorry I couldn't film any of that stuff. Sorry I couldn't do whatever. But, uh, like I said, it got pretty windy. Pretty windy. Uh, storm looked like it was blowing in. And temperature dropped like crazy. And yesterday morning at 3 in the morning, we had to go out for broken train track. Blah, blah, blah. But, anyway... Uh, yeah, bandsaw, definitely, definitely a plus, and, uh, bird making noises, but anyway, um, yeah, air compressor, that compressor pump, if you have a five horsepower, bigger tank, this Harbor Freight compressor, the pump itself, man, it worked, works awesome, it, it kept it charged, it kept the, the air up, with minimal run time, um, so yeah, everything seems to be working out all right. 
So, all right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys give me a like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You guys tell me what you guys think about Project Crack Pipe and the little birdies making all the noise. So, all right, guys, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Later.